for as God. I want to talk about children's shows in modern times. It's something I've noticed for the last maybe uh, 15 years, but never really spoke about it uh, this way. Obviously now I, I don't really pay attention to so busy nowadays, but uh, from what I know and what I've seen and observed from time to time, children's shows these days are, are not good. They are not good. Compared to, you know, what we had, talking about the 90s babies, 80s babies, maybe even 70s babies, we had a lot of, of good children's shows. You can talk about um, children's shows as like from... You know, one to maybe even 13, 14. Um, like, there was something to watch for all ages. There were there was something to watch. Uh, all ages, there was something to watch. And, 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 you know, it was such, it was an enjoyable. Um, even today, you know, those shows still have an impact. We can't really say about the the current, you know, modern shows. They they're, they're, they don't have they're, they don't have and they're not going to have much of an impact as, let's say, like the Arthur's, the uh, Art Attacks, the Pokemon's, the Dragon Ball Z's, the the YTV's, the Teletoons, um, you know, old school Cartoon Network. These shows, you know, are still talked about today. They're still reminisced about today. People have nostalgia about them. And not just the nostalgia of watching the shows, but things that we did surrounding the shows makes us remember and be like, oh, I remember this. Like when I watch Arthur, like when I remember watching Arthur, man, it, 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 the show was enjoyable. But it's the fact of coming home from school and falling asleep to Arthur, eating to Arthur, that's what made it enjoyable. It's not just watching the show. It's, it's the things we do before and, and after it that, that makes it a staple and enjoyable. But we can't say the same about the, 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 the current shows that they have. Uh, when we talk about like the like children, children shows from like one to like, I don't know, preschool kind of shows, like the Sesame Streets kind of shows today, it, it, there's a lot of hand holding. There's a lot of of hand-holding in, in these shows. I, I for one, didn't realize the hand-holding when I was watching some of these shows back in the day. But to, but the shows that I see now, and as, of, as of late, a lot of hand-holding. So slow. Gotta treat the, the, the audience like they're dumb. And I guess that's what we get in today's age. Um... You know, even even Blue's Clues back in the day, you know, I didn't think that that was a hand holding show. That was a good show, but the Blue's Clues now, it feels like they're holding your hand. It's so, uh, uh I guess I, I can't name shows today because I obviously don't watch them, but you know when I see them, I, I know them, and I observe a lot of hand holding, very slow, very, uh, you know uninteresting very uninteresting uh, the characters are are you know somewhat dumb they're always over excited over enthusiastic over enthusiastic uh, the characters are uh, just not interesting they're, they're annoying they're dumb they're goofy. Sure, you can have, you know, goofy characters back in the day, but, you know, it was, it was, it was fun. It worked. Like, it worked. Like, some of the characters on Sesame Street, like uh, Grover, um, Ernie, they were goofy. Elmo's, they were goofy. But yet... They were enjoyable, yet they're a staple. They're nostalgic because we were, because we were, you know, the fact that we were eating, 
you know, eating our, our breakfast, getting ready for school or whatever in front of these shows that make them so good and so great. But today's shows, you don't have that. I, I don't hear anyone nowadays, you know, discussing about these modern shows. No one's talking about them the way that the, the 90s kids are talking about the old time shows. No one's mentioning them. Not a peep. Not a single peep is being mentioned. Nothing. Because the shows, they just don't work. They don't work. And one thing good about the 90s shows, and even 80s shows, 80 children shows, was like the, the live action puppet puppetry or mascot shows. Those shows were awesome. Those shows what get, you know made us engage. Those, those are some of the most popular shows. The Sesame Street, the the Mr. Dress Up, Mr. Rogers. Those, those shows we all loved and it worked. So why did things change? I don't know. Why do we have all these rotten garbage shows? I don't know. They, they just these children's shows don't work. Even a lot of these, um, I guess you could say teenage shows, little mature shows, anime shows, again, they don't work. I mean, some are popular, but they don't have that same feel, that same nostalgia and the same impact as the Dragon Balls, as even the Yu-Gi-Oh's, the Pokemon, the Digimon. They don't have that same impact of coming home from school, watching, going back to school and showing off and talking about episodes that happen. They don't have that. Showing off your Pokemon book, your Pokemon cards, your action. These shows, these modern day cart children shows, they don't work. They, 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 it doesn't gel well. It, it doesn't gel well with, with, uh, with, with today. Not at all. Um, yeah, these shows are, are just the worst. Too much hand holding. All of them look the same. A lot of these shows are now 3D animation shows. All the same with the typical boring characters are always smiling always happy yeah that's the other thing that the shows are they're always happy we get a sad moment like there here and there but they're always happy you look back at like arthur you know they had mixed emotion the old time arthur they had mixed emotion angry sad all mixed they weren't all just happy like this now this is this is, this is like the flash norm. and even our other modern day shows you know other you know old school shows there was a mix of emotions the emotions were mixed. Sad, you know, more realistic, down-to-earth type of emotions and, and shows and, and stories. Uh, a lot of shows, man. I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but I remember watching a lot on the Teletoons, on the Treehouse, the YTVs. Some of the shows that used to come on, what, 12 a.m.? Uh, I thought it was called Johnson and Friends. We have um, the Dinosaur Show, the... Uh, the dragon show. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know who they are, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, these shows. These shows. Definitely. The shows. Old school shows. You know, definitely have an impact. Where it's not just about watching the show. It's not just about watching the show. It's about things that happened before and after. That makes these shows meaningful. Even like movies. Like the MCU. It, it, it wasn't like. Back in the day. In the, in the, in the, in the first decade. Of the NC, MCU. It wasn't just because they were movies. To me. It, it, you know. To an MCU movie. You know. Felt like. Um, a holiday. Because before man. We're leading up to it. The trailers. Everyone's talking about it. 
having an opinion, you're looking back at other old movies, old trailers, you're excited. Then after, you're talking about it. You're asking questions. It, it wasn't just sitting and, and watching MCU movies that made them enjoyable. It's the before and after. Same thing with, with uh, old school shows. It's the before and after what happened when you watch these shows. But now these children's shows, it's it's, it's like everyone is pretty much stressed out the shows are crap everyone is locked up in their homes they, they don't have the same nostalgia they don't have the same impact the same the same way that we live it's really hard to explain man like we we lived uh we lived you know really well with these shows Anyways, I'm going to end it there. I'm, I'm just at the bus stop again, waiting for my bus. Uh, something I do as I'm waiting is talk about, pretty much talk about, you know, nothing. <laughs> you can say that um, just to pass the time. But anyways, uh, for Asgard.